able to see to to say about love is fake. Because yesterday you, you told us that it was mine. The definition. So um, what kind of as a past, as a way, can we confront real love? Is it uh, possible? Uh, how do you have a direct knowing of love? It's very sad that we all are attracted. towards a peaceful sunset. Simply tells us that love pulls all of us. We all know what love is. To love is to be drawn towards something. Essentially, we are all drawn towards relaxation, fulfillment, peace. Jack is love, to be drawn towards the essential, to be drawn towards the essential is love. And we all are drawn towards that. And we are drawn so much towards the essential that we are prepared to drop the inessential in our movement towards the essential. The word essential? Essential. Essential, the real. Essential, the central. Essence. Essential. Essential. You know what the saints say about this movement towards the real, the central? They say that the more you move towards the truth in love, the more narrow your path becomes. It is like converging towards the center. The path keeps on getting narrower and narrower. And ultimately the path becomes so narrow that you, even you cannot pass through it. It keeps on becoming narrower so you keep dropping whatever you are carrying, you jettison your belongings, your relationships, this and that. And ultimately it is just a point. Even the smallest of substances cannot pass through it. At the destination, nobody reaches. The destination is there now, but nobody to reach. Hmm? Kabir says, Jab main tha tab hari nahi. Jab hari hai main nahi. Prem gali yati saakari. Tame do na samai. The road of love is a very narrow road. It cannot accommodate two. I am saying it cannot accommodate even one. Forget about two, the road becomes so narrow that it cannot accommodate even one. That is love. Hmm? To be drawn towards your own dissolution. In some sense it is a suicidal call. Huh? In some sense, yes, you are pulled towards your own 
and willingly so. Willingly so. Huh? Like a moth to a flame. Like a moth to a flame. Like a sweet ivy poison. Huh? Like a sweet ivy poison. Sweet ivy poison. I don't know much about that. Right, something is missing. You know that something is missing, yet you don't have the guts to really acknowledge and hence allow right action to happen. The reward of a right life, a spiritual life, is that you can never be mentally sick. You can suffer a lot. Your body may crumble down, but your mind will be very, very healthy. That is one mark of a yogi, one mark of a jnani, of a bhakt. Hmm? Let's simply say one mark of the healthy mind. Hmm? It will be untouched by neuroses, by phobias, by depression, by all the other kinds of disorders that there are. This disorder may, may be there. Uh, not really. Not, really. not to a spiritual mind. So some, some Many other things might be there. Yeah. Physically, he might not be alright. In terms of worldly standing, he might not be uh, very high. Knowledge wise, he might not be very rich. Skill wise, he might not be very equipped. In all other ways, he may be a very average or below average fellow. But he would always be living in health of the mind. That is certain. Even in the worst of situations, his mind would be a very vital mind. 